Before we start, let me show you up the final preview. See here, this was the image I have edited. So this is the before look and this is the after look. We have removed all the skin blemishes and done skin retouching. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Photoshop CS6 and the image on which we are going to work. See this pretty young face having lot of acne and scars on her face. Let's first heal them. Let me duplicate this background layer first and name it Retouch. Now with my spot healing brush tool as the name says it heals the spot. Let me zoom it bit. Yeah. Now with this tool, spot healing brush, I will remove the blemishes on her skin. Wherever I can see scar or any other blemishes, I will have this tool and get rid of that scar. Let me go to neck. Get rid of these scars also. Let me have clone stamp tool to remove this patch. Yes, very nicely. I removed this black patch which I was having. Again my spot healing brush tool. Okay, now let's see what we have done up till now. Let me turn off this retouch layer and see what it was earlier. And let me turn on my retouch layer again. So this is what it was and what it is. Now let me duplicate this retouch layer and name it blur. Let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You can set the amount, how much you want. But you should see that you are getting details with this blurry effect also. See this face is still having details. We can recognize the eyes, nose, lips. Let me have value to be 10. Let me hit OK. Now let me change the opacity to 50%. Although we have lost our lot of details but we will get them back soon. Now let me change opacity to 50%. Now let me turn off this blur layer and go to retouch layer. Let me select some sample of skin. Make sure we are selecting lighter tone. Now go to select similar. Now I will increase or decrease this selection with help of lasso tool. With lasso tool and have add to selection here. I will increase selection to this screen. You need not have to be very perfect.
now let me go to select modify feather and have the same amount of which I have given to Gaussian blur if you have used different amount in Gaussian blur you can have that amount here let me have 10 now I will go to my blur layer turn it on again hit the icon below to layers that is add layer mask now we will get back more details make sure to click layer mask thumbnail and also make sure that you have black color as your foreground color if not so you can click this icon and make default foreground and background color as black and white now let me have brush tool let me have opacity to be 100 and I should have smooth brush so hardness should be 0% let me zoom it bit now I will begin to apply this brush tool on the area I want to get the details back let me reduce this brush size say on her eyes as I want to get detail back from her eyes on her nostrils nose line on her lips on her eyebrows let me reduce this brush size for eyebrows as these are thin eyebrows now let me switch this foreground and background color let me have white color and with my brush tool let me paint on the skin where I want to hide details say on this near to nose on nose Now let's sharpen her eyes more. Let me have elliptical marquee tool and have elliptical selection as I am selecting her eyes. Make sure intersect with selection is selected and you have multiply sign on your cursor make another selection so this will intersect with earlier selection and we have nice selection of her eye now we will go to this round icon go to U and saturation increase the amount of U let's make it 5 and let's also increase the amount of saturation Forty looks fine to me you can always see the preview let me close this tab group now let me have this same effect on her another eye make sure this U and saturation layer has been created let me again have my elliptical marquee tool and have the same selection for another eye multiplication sign is on my cursor that is intersect with selection same I have done for another eye let's make black again as my foreground color and hit control delete or command delete from my keyboard so this was earlier and this is now with our Photoshop editing so this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do not forget to subscribe me have a good day